Hi guys, it's Hani here and today we are making back to school cookies. I'm going to show you how to make these cute pencil cookies. So let's get started. I'm using my sugar cookie dough recipe and full recipe can be found on my blog hanielas.com. Link is in the description box under the video. And I'm going to color my cookie dough right after I make the dough. It is best to color the dough right after you make it. Once it's refrigerated, it doesn't really take the color as well and the cookies bake kind of funny. So I would suggest you color it right away. Now you can either weight your dough with a scale or and then um, um, divide it into five portions or you can just roll an even snake and cut it like I did. So I have two portions that I'm going to one portion I'm going to color with pink and second portion I'm going to color with you can use brown food coloring or ivory and a third portion consisting of three portions the larger portion I'm coloring with lemon yellow now it is important that you wear the gloves or you're going to stain your hands And once the cookie dough is homogenous, you can set it aside and color the remaining cookie dough. Now these cookies can be made ahead of time. This is a really nice cookie dough that you can uh, prepare up to two weeks ahead. If you don't have brown or ivory food coloring for this part, um, you can also use tiny amount of cocoa powder or you can just try and just skip it all together. I just wanted to have slightly darker dough. And then for the pink, I don't know if I mentioned that I am using electric pink. If you don't have electric pink, I think you should be fine by using um, just regular pink or even a little bit of red. Now I'm going to form or shape each piece of cookie dough into a log of approximately same width or length whatever whatever you want to call it and we're going to create a brick and I'm going to layer the colors on top of each other so I'm starting with my yellow cookie dough and then I'm going to glue my second layer of cookie dough onto the yellow and to glue it on I'm using I'm gonna use just a little bit of water just on a pastry brush you don't want to oversaturate it just so it sticks and it doesn't separate um, in the oven when it's baking okay so now I'm rolling out the last bit and then brush it very lightly with some water and we're going to shape it while it's still somewhat flexible and then I'm going to wrap it into a food wrap and we're gonna freeze it it's important that you freeze it so when you're slicing the log it's not gonna get misshaped and it's super easy to slice through a chilled cookie dough so let's forget about it for a couple hours and then you can take it out Remove the food wrap and use a sharp knife knife and cut the slices about quarter inch. I think mine are slightly thicker, um, but depending on how thick you like your cookies, you can go, you know, even thinner if you prefer. At this point, you should also have your oven preheated to 350 degrees of Fahrenheit. I'm going to trim the end because it wasn't as nice and then cut each slice into three portions. So each slice is going to give us three little pencils. Aren't they adorable? Now I'm going to sharpen them and cut the ends like so. And then you can just place them on a baking sheet and bake these off. Now to make them extra special, I decided to use my mini alphabet impression set. And uh, I'm going to thread my um, track with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And we're just going to gently press it. You want to kind of 
use a little bit of a rocking motion when you're going in to the cookie dough. And again, this cookie dough doesn't have any baking powder. It's important if you're using an impression tool like this with the baking powder, the cookie dough will spread too much and it will not be visible once the cookies are baked. I baked this for about seven to eight minutes or so. And what did I do with the scraps? Now I just pressed the scraps together into a disc and I rolled it out to about quarter inch thick and I cut out some cookies. So don't worry, no cookie dough was wasted during this project. And if you have a large alphabet uh, cookie cutter letters, you can use those. Super cute. And to package the cookies, my pencil cookies, I found the most adorable tags online. And I'm including a link to where I got them um, in the description box and also on my blog. And you can use uh, small mason jars and uh, fill them with cookies. These make for really cute teacher's gifts. And then use a baker's twine to attach the tag. Or you can use poly bags depending on what you have. These are also really easy to put together and super adorable. What do you guys think? I love how these turned out. They were so delicious. I ate a bunch of them myself. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my YouTube channel. And I will see you next time.